NASA's James Webb Space Telescope was built to look deeper into space than any tool before it. It catches faint stretches of light from billions of years ago. In its early observations, Webb recorded something so crazy it shook even the calmest space scientists. It seemed to show a glowing object moving faster than light. Einstein taught us that nothing can go faster than light. This speed limit is built into spacetime itself, and no real thing or signal should ever break it. And yet Webb's infrared instruments seem to catch just that, motion that breaks the cosmic speed limit. But this wasn't a glitch or a data hiccup. Webb orbits beyond Earth's atmosphere and is finely tuned, leaving little room for mistakes. Multiple instruments confirmed the reading across different wavelengths, so the data looks solid. The puzzle is knowing the difference between really breaking light's speed limit and just appearing too. In space, some things look like they move faster than light because of how we see them. Scientists call this superluminal motion. It happens with jets from black holes or galactic centers, but only because of trickery with angles and light. But the event Webb captured wasn't connected to one of those. There were no jets, no radio signals, no x-rays, nothing usual to explain what was seen. Instead, Webb saw something compact and bright, maybe a star or remnant, moving across intergalactic space like it was pulled by some unknown force. If that's really a new kind of superluminal motion, it suggests space still hides mechanisms that radio telescopes never saw. It might mean there are tiny space-time distortions that move objects in a way that looks faster than light. Or maybe it's like cosmic expansion but on a really small scale. Cosmic expansion already makes distant galaxies recede faster than light, without breaking relativity. Could something similar be happening locally? If this breaks relativity, it would turn physics upside down. Time, cause and effect, and what's possible in travel or communication could all change. Some physicists wonder if exotic particles like tachyons, never proven, always theorized, might be involved. By definition, they move faster than light. Others imagine space-time could be manipulated naturally or technologically in ways we don't yet understand. Adding to the mystery, Webb was watching a quiet patch of sky during a deep field observation, not a busy region near black holes or galaxies. In this cosmic desert, something appeared to break the rules as it moved across empty space. That's even harder to explain. Theorists are piecing together ideas. Maybe the object wasn't moving faster than light through space, but was carried by a tiny wave in space-time. Or maybe gravitational lensing warped the light, creating the illusion. But these explanations need very precise conditions, almost as strange as the original event. This isn't just a scientific puzzle, it's philosophical too. The speed of light is more than a number. It's been the cosmic wall that defines what's possible. To even seem to cross it rattles centuries of certainty. If light's barrier can blur, then time and cause and effect start to feel less fixed. Even if this sighting turns out to be an illusion, it still stretches our imagination. It shows that even deeply held limits may hold surprises. It reminds us why Webb exists, not just to confirm our ideas, but to challenge them and reveal what we never dared ask. This sighting may not disprove relativity, but it humbles it. The universe still has ways of bending speed, light, and time that we've yet to understand. What Webb saw might not be a sci-fi warp machine, but it's proof of something just as profound. Reality is stranger than our boldest theories. The idea of something moving faster than light shakes the idea of cause and effect. If true, it could mean messages arriving before being sent, or events repeating in reverse. Our physics depends on clear cause and effect. Yet Webb may have glimpsed something that challenges that clarity. Even if it's just a trick of perspective, it's proof that illusions like this can happen on a cosmic scale, and that shows how incomplete our understanding still is. Webb was built to study the first galaxies, new stars, and the chemistry of distant worlds. But it's now captured something no one expected, something seemingly faster than light. History shows that new tools often reveal surprises. Galileo's telescope showed Jupiter's moons. Particle accelerators discovered antimatter. Now Webb joins that legacy.
It might be opening the next chapter in our understanding of the universe. Could this strange motion be made by intelligence, an advanced being manipulating space-time? It's speculative, but we can't rule it out yet. Traditional searches look for radio signals or fingerprints of life. Maybe the real signs are distortions that break our physics rules. The timing is wild. Physics stands at the edge, with theories like quantum gravity waiting for proof. This anomaly could be the link. It might be the Rosetta Stone that connects math to reality, unifying relativity and quantum mechanics. Culturally, this taps into our fascination with speed and going beyond. Myths spoke of gods moving faster than eyes, and sci-fi dreams of warp drives. Now Webb gives us data, not fiction. It blends imagination with observable evidence and reminds us limits may not be fixed. As a teaching tool, this event is huge. This mystery becomes a hub for collaboration, just as the universe connects it all together. For everyday people, this moment rekindles awe. Life is routine but the cosmos just showed us that even the deepest rules can be questioned. The universe still holds surprises. If Webb can catch them by accident, maybe future telescopes will seek out the edges of knowledge directly. Whether it's exotic physics, quantum echoes, or something new entirely, this event is now a symbol. It marks the boundary between what we know and what we don't. It shows science thrives not on certainty, but on curiosity. Every time we think we know the rules, it rewrites them. Webb has shown us that even the most sacred limits, like the speed of light, might one day be bent. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.